Pro Group Management. Workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good evening, I'm Jen Ah. Thanks for joining us on 7 at 7. Tonight, we're starting off with entertainment. Sponsored by DiscoverNevada.com. Brought to you by Travel Nevada. Resorts World will soon open to the public, and some of its features are mind-blowing, including the pool area, which is a whopping five acres. Review Journal's Renee Summerauer gives us a sneak peek before the grand opening tonight. Good evening, Renee. Good evening, Jen. Review Journal ace drone pilot Michael Quine got this stunning footage of the pool area at Resorts World. So here are some fun facts for you. Now, the pool area covers five and a half acres and features over 21,000 square feet of water. There are actually nine bodies of water on the property. That includes the main three pool complex, a family pool and a VIP combo for adults only. That features the only infinity pool on the Las Vegas Strip. Now, if you get hungry while you're there, Resorts World has part Partnered with Grubhub, guests will be able to place an order from 40 food and beverage spots and have it delivered straight to the pool complex. Here's another fun fact. Some of the palm trees have been on the site since it was home to the legendary Las Vegas casino, the Stardust. It's all part of the $4.3 billion project that crossed the finish line tonight. Jen. Now in your business news, sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability. We also have a cool time-lapse video of Resorts World Las Vegas as we talk about the land's history. Once home to the Stardust in 1958, with over a thousand hotel rooms, the world's largest hotel at the time, and fast forward 63 years later, Resorts World Las Vegas is set to be one of the world's most tech-savvy resorts, bringing thousands of jobs with it. Now, we've already talked a lot about the economic impact of Resorts World, but how about the food? Review Journal's James Schaefer gives us a taste. Welcome to Flavortown, with 40 food and beverage options, including Filipino, Japanese, Indian, and Singaporean. Plus, there's a unique one, Texas barbecue, with the occasional Chinese and Vietnamese twist. People may be talking about the tech and the casino floor Resorts World, but the food is something to behold. Food hawkers from Singapore and Malaysia are shoulder to shoulder with guys like Las Vegas' own Chef Trees. They're from Tokyo, they're from Beijing, and then there's this guy from the east side of Vegas. So I don't know, I don't know if, uh, you know, it's a very high bar that we're being put against. We want to make sure that we're, we're uh, living up to the reputation of Vegas as bringing it and coming with excellence from day one. We also asked about their partnership with Resorts World. They really trust what we do. They've been to Esther's. They know we're, we're a known entity for them. They knew we would just really dedicate ourselves and knock it out of the park. For the Las Vegas Review Journal, I'm James Schaefer. Now to your weather, sponsored by One Hour Air. No matter the season, no matter the reason, One Hour is here for you. Check out this rain in the eastern and Warm Springs area. The National Weather Service is warning of thunderstorms and lightning this evening here in the valley. And for the rest of tonight, we have a red flag warning, so expect strong winds. Temps are dropping to the upper 70s with more rain possibly coming in. And then tomorrow, we're back in the triple digits with clear skies. So hope you enjoyed the cooler temps while they lasted. Highs will continue to rise over the weekend. Now to your other top stories, sponsored by Carnegie Heights. We're seeing another month of one's hot home prices and sales cooling down a bit. The national charts show the annual sales pace falling while the once spiking median prices are tapering off. Southern Nevada shows a similar trend, but some experts say many homes are still selling rapidly with multiple offers. And over at Allegiant Stadium, the Raiders president is reporting strong sales of parking passes, which go for 40 to 100 bucks a game. Some parking lots even sold out during the first week of sales, and a majority of the spots do allow tailgating. Um, you know, Las Vegas, he, obviously people are going to be used to it, so I'm going to be out of town, but there's going to be a large tailgating community. Some, you know, these games at Sam Boyd had tailgating and such, so that's just going to carry over to Las Vegas, especially with the Raiders. There are 6,000 tailgating spots, which cost $40 per game for an off-site location and 100 bucks for an on-site one. Here's the latest in sports. The Raiders are embedding themselves into the Las Vegas community yet again, this time hosting a Nike 11 on event for 16 local high schools. For us to finally have an NFL team and, and for them to be so welcome with uh, 
and generous with, with their time. And it's something that maybe a lot of people don't even understand what it means to these kids to see NFL players, you know, come by or, or even just the logo and, and know that it's, you know, an NFL team means a lot to these kids. Learning like as much as I can from them, you know, they're at a higher level. So there's always uh, so much to learn. So, you know, just working on my craft, you know, perfecting what I can. I think it's awesome, you know, just them being able to come out here and just get involved with the community is amazing. Just like I said, just getting involved like with the, all the high schools out here. It's really cool for, uh, for them to do that. Sports betting sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The Milwaukee Bucks are still minus 200 favorites at the Westgate to advance to the NBA Finals despite being down 1-0 to zero to the Atlanta Hawks in the Eastern Conference Finals. The Hawks are plus 175 to advance after winning 116-113 to in Game 1 on Wednesday as 3-1 to one underdogs in Milwaukee. The Bucks are 7.5 point home favorites for Game 2 on Friday and the total is 226. Now to your health news, sponsored by 4M Dental, Love Your Smile Again. Due to the pandemic, the CDC has extended the federal eviction moratorium again, but says this is the final time. The moratorium was extended another 30 days, originally set to expire this month. Also, because of COVID, the Clark County School District is reporting 674 Desert Pine High School students were quarantined last week after being exposed to a person who tested positive during summer school. That's the highest number of students in quarantine reported by CCSD since the pandemic. And in your lifestyle news, sponsored by Get Healthy Clark County, check out these fancy garages. This one in McDonald Highlands has vehicles stacked to save space. And this Vegas garage features a bar and games and a climate-controlled showroom with enough space for eight vehicles. And we're featuring unique downtown homes that aren't high-rises in Las Vegas, like this wrought iron staircase in this home on Bonita Avenue with its tall windows. And this 1970s home in the historic Beverly Green neighborhood, upgraded with smart home technology in a hidden panic room. Thank you for watching 7 at 7. We'll be bringing you more continuous coverage of Resorts World Las Vegas through our website, lvrj.com. It's set to officially open to the public at 11 tonight. I'm Jen Aw. Ah. We'll see you later. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.